have I forgiven a cheater? Yes, I have. Plenty of times, many of times in multiple relationships. Okay? Because you mean to tell me, not only did you cheat, you had this woman in my face. Baby, you bold. You're bold. Yeah. Tell me why you didn't keep your promise. Uh, and tell me why you straight from being honest. Uh, you thought you could keep me cause you buy diamonds. No, they take it for weakness when you show kindness. Uh, I got other options, they in my pocket. What's up YouTube? Welcome or welcome back to my channel, Life with Ashley Lorraine, where I do life and I bring you guys along with me. My name is Ashley and I am back again today with another video. So today's video is going to be a little bit different, you guys. Today's video is going to be like a little car rant. I want to have a discussion, okay? I want to have a discussion about something. I know y'all been seeing it all over the media, social media, Instagram, Sports Center, all that, all that. Okay, so Boston's head coach, Nia Long's husband, Ime Yaduka. I don't want to screw up that guy's name but I'm pretty sure I just did. But you guys know what I'm talking about, okay? I wanna have a discussion about this topic, okay? Okay, somebody called my phone, but anyway, yeah. So cheating is near and dear to my heart, okay? <laughs> the topic of cheating is near and dear to my heart and I just wanna talk about it real quick, okay? But before we get too deep into the video, y'all, I would love it if you guys would hit the subscribe button. It's a whole little vibe over here. So yeah, don't be shy. Go ahead and subscribe. All right, now let's get into the topic. Okay, let's get into this. Now I may have some unpopular opinions when it comes to cheating. And I just want to know, you know, am I crazy or not? Nah? So let's talk about it. Now, initially this whole cheating scandal came up, you know what I mean? And I was like, okay, well, I don't know. You know, he cheated, dudes cheat every day, B. Okay, people, I ain't gonna even say dudes. People cheat every day, okay? No big deal. It's a big deal, but it's, you know, it's no big deal. Kind of like what Matt Barnes came out and said, and it's like, it's, it's, it's just a common thing. So to blast this man all over social media or whatever the situation may be is mm, you know it's it's warranted but then again it's like not warranted so it's like this type of stuff happens all the time and the only reason why it's that big of a deal is because he's famous and when you're famous it's unfortunate but your life is put out there to be scrutinized and that's just the way that it is even regular everyday people in the midst of your social circle okay even if you're not a famous person if you have a cheating scandal you know everybody's talking about it your family members your your friends your co whoever know in your immediate circle it's a discussion to be had that's just life people are nosy and people want to know now do i feel like it's other stuff that we could be talking about yes but it is what it is this is out there he's famous he's engaged to Nia Long I believe they're just engaged I don't know if they're married or not if they are okay but yeah like people are gonna talk about it I didn't get the whole part about him being suspended because I'm just like okay if unless that's part of his work contract why are we punishing this dude for cheating now if it's in his contract not to fraternize with the other workers or whatever whatever understand that is in some employment contract so i get it now in that case if that's in your employment contract then obviously you're going to get punished if that happens if that occurs okay so i get it but if it wasn't then i don't understand the whole punishing him for doing this as well as if you're going to punish him then make sure you keep that same energy for everybody okay now what i really want to talk about is today i saw and i don't want this to get mistaken for oh she condones cheating she's pro cheater i am not pro cheater y'all <laughs> not by far however i'm a very forgiving person and i understand certain concepts of things and i understand that people make mistakes okay let's just put leave that there have i forgiven a cheater yes i have plenty of times many of times in multiple relationships I've had dudes who've cheated on me and played in my face. 
And I've had dudes who have cheated on me and I actually never even knew about it until like some random stuff happens and it's like, oh dang, like you cheated on me? Like I never would have knew. Like you were such a good guy. I was so happy in the relationship that I didn't even know that you was out here moving like that. Like, like you meet a person, you sleep with them and that's it, it's cut off, okay? You wanted to feel your desire of intimacy you did that and then you cut the situation off right okay but if you cheat and you building a whole relationship with this person you communicating every day with this person like you basically got a whole nother relationship on the side like that's beyond me that's beyond me and i feel like it's beyond forgiving because why are you playing in my face like that why are you embarrassing me like that <laughs> like what is the issue now what i'm about to say is probably going to be an unpopular opinion but for me sometimes it's not that you cheated it's how you cheated <laughs> like some of the stuff that y'all do when y'all cheat is beyond me. It's beyond me, honey. For example, let's take this Ema Yudoka situation. I just read today that the woman who he cheated with, okay, was his travel person. And so long story short, she had been communicating in some way, shape or form with Neil Long okay because she is the person who is making all of this man's travel arrangements and da, da 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 and she basically had to help nia with their move to boston so you mean to tell me that y'all played in my good sis nia face like that you mean to tell me that y'all play in my good sis Nia face like that. Because out of all the people who you could have cheated with, you chose to cheat with a person from your job who has to communicate with me? Like, make it make sense. And okay, all right. Let's just say, okay, you, you cheated with this woman who, who makes your travel arrangements, da, 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 da. What I'm gonna need you to do, what I'm gonna need you to do is find somebody else to help me. I don't know how and what level of communication there was. You know, we live in a virtual world, so I don't know if it was emails, text messages, or if it was face-to-face -face or FaceTime, video chats, or whatever. Either way it goes, don't play on my top like don't play with me <laughs> like that you know what i mean like if you're gonna cheat cheat but don't bring this woman to my face don't bring this woman to my email don't bring this woman on my phone don't bring this one don't bring this woman around me please why, why are you playing why are you playing and then people wonder why people snap and assault people <laughs> and end up on episodes of snapped okay because you mean to tell me not only did you cheat you had this woman in my face baby you bold you're bold not only did you cheat but you gave her my netflix password it's like y'all take it to the extreme y'all do the most weirdest things like make it make sense it's like i don't know i just feel like the way people cheat is like do you not think things through it is beyond me some of the stuff that people do when they cheat and i just i don't understand it so anyway comment down below how y'all feel about it am i tripping am i crazy or or what is cheating just cheating um because i don't know i feel like it's levels to it i mean don't get me wrong i feel like it's all bad but i definitely feel like it's levels to this and i just feel like the way that y'all play in people's face sometimes it's not cool 
it's not cool and y'all really need to stop it's embarrassing goodbye